Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we're going to go over how to create an Azure DevOps pipeline that leverages Terraform to bring up resources in Azure Cloud. All right, let's go ahead and jump on this right here. Uh, before we get started, we need to create a resource group. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and copy this here, this ID, and I'm going to use it on the next step. Uh, now we're going to create a service principle, and we're going to use this service principle to connect Azure DevOps to our Azure Cloud account and to this specific um, service principle that we're creating right now. All right, so that ID that we got from the, when we created the resource group, we're gonna use it here. So we're just gonna paste it and that should be good. All right, now that that's done, let's go back to our Azure DevOps. And now we're gonna create a service connection. So we'll go to project settings, service connections, new service connection, Azure Resource Manager, Service Principal, give it a second here, select your Service Principal, and then now click on the Resource Group drop-down menu, and you're going to have to authenticate. All right, once you authenticate, you click on the resource group drop-down menu again, and now click on the resource group you created. And give your service connection a name. Hit save. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to create a blob storage so that we can store our Terraform state file. And we'll start off by creating a storage account. You have to use the resource group we created in the previous step. Give it a name. All right, next give it the SKU and encryption services is blob. Okay, looks like that's done. All right, so the next thing we need to do is uh, grab our key. Okay, so you're going to grab the value for that first key. And now we're going to use that to create our container within the blob. All right, so now we create our container. And I'll just paste that key that I got earlier. Okay, looks like our blob con storage containers has been created. All right, the next thing we need to do is create a repo. So go to repos, click on the repo drop-down menu, uh, click on new repository, initialize, and in here we're going to create a simple uh, Terraform file because we're going to need that in order to create the pipeline. So let's go ahead and click New, File. I'm going to call this terraform.tf. You can call it whatever you want, but I'm just calling it that. OK, we'll start this off by giving it the, re the provider. And that would be Azure RM. The version, I'm going to use the latest as of this video and features I'll leave that empty and in order for you to be able to store your your, your terraform state file you need to create a backend so we'll do that by doing typing this here and now we give it the backend the resource group name
TF state T state the storage account name and that's the account we created earlier and then the container name that's the container that's inside your blob storage and here's where you need to specify the terraform state file since I called mine terraform it's going to be called terraform here dot tf state now I have to give it a data resource and for this terraform I'm just going to create a simple app service and that of course starts with creating a resource group so now we're going to give it a resource and I'm going to give it just the simple name of resource group here and I'm going to give it the name that it's going to be used and then the location the next thing we need to do is create a service plan give it a name and then of course you're going to reference the location to your research group next you're going to give it the resource group name and now we got to specify the SKU and tier and size and lastly we need to create the actual app service you gotta give it a name the location now I'm just gonna copy these over here and what these are is again they're references to this resource group that, don't want, that way you don't have to keep typing the resource group name and the location and lastly we need to give it the app service plan ID and this just refers back to the service plan above okay so that should do it uh, let's click commit all right so now we have our terraform file all right before we get started with our pipeline uh, we need to install the terraform extension to do that go to the marketplace browse marketplace search for terraform and it's right here Microsoft Dev Labs click on that click on get it free and then make sure your organization is selected click install proceed go back to your repo and now let's set up a build create a starter pipeline erase this and for this pipeline we're going to use uh, stages we're going to have a stage for to validate the terraform and then we'll have a stage to deploy it okay now we're going to add the jobs it's only one but you have to add it anyway and then job Oops. I'm also going to call it validate. And I'm going to set continue on error false. Okay, now we define the step section. And we can use the assistant for this. Type in Terraform. And the first thing we're going to do is tell it to install the Terraform tool. And we want version 0.12.26. As of this video, this is the latest version. Click on Add. We're going to add another task. Add 
and that's the one that just says terraform we're gonna say Azure RM init uh, the working directory we'll leave it we'll leave it at default subscription you create we created earlier so Azure SPN is the one I created the resource group the storage account the container we created and then for key we're going to type in terraform dot tf state all right let's click on add task all right that looks good to me um, let me give it the display name because otherwise it's just going to give it the name terraform task Okay, we're going to add another task. Uh, this time we're going to use the validate. We'll leave everything else default. Click on add. We're going to give this a display name as well. And that should take care of the validate section. Okay, now let's move on to the deploy section. This also requires a jobs. Uh, this one is different. This one's going to be deployment. And we'll call it deploy Terraform. Continue on error. Oops. Continue on error. False. That way it errors out. Environment. We'll call this dev. And now the strategy. Run once. Deploy, steps, and we have to tell it to check out this repo, otherwise it won't see the Terraform file. And then here, we go back to our tasks over here. Click on the Terraform tool installer. We again want version 2.6. So 0 0.12.26. Click on add. We'll give this a display name. I don't think I gave the other one a display name. So let me go back up here. Okay, we're gonna go back over here to our tasks. Search for Terraform. We're also doing an init here. Select your service principal, your resource group, storage account, storage blob container and then the key which again is terraform dot tf state we're going to add that let's go back to tasks add another one this is going to be terraform plan and then you're going to specify your service connection we're going to add that we go back over here and give this a display name. And we're going to add another Terraform. And this one's the apply. So validate and apply. Specify your subscription. Add that. Give this a display name. 
Let me quick check on my work here. Everything seems to validate as valid uh, YAML. I think we should be good. Let's try it out. Save and run. I'm going to leave the default commit message. Yes, I'm committing directly to master. I'm the only one working on this, so eh, don't care. Okay, so now when you run the pipeline, you'll see that there's the two stages, validate and deploy. But I want to see it running, so I'm going to click on it. I clicked on the validate stage. That's validation. Let's look at that. Installed the tool. Did a Terraform in it. Ran validation. It says it looks good. And let's see what happens here. Oh, okay. This is a resource group. Okay, it's the scope is invalid. That's kind of weird. All right, guys, so check it out. Um, I made a mistake. It looks like uh, I had to go to my subscription and give the contributor role to my service principal. Once I did that, I reran this uh, pipeline, and I'm no longer seeing the error. So it looks like we're good. Okay, so now we can go to... Azure Cloud, and we can go to the resource group we created, SK Terraform. And yes, I renamed it from what I created in the Terraform. I thought that was a naming problem, but it wasn't. So what I typed in earlier, it's, it's a different name now, but either way, you can give it whatever name you want. But now if we go to the resource group, we can see that we have an app service and we have an app service plan using an Azure DevOps pipeline that runs Terraform so some of you might be asking yourself, why are you using Terraform to create things in Azure Cloud if it's meant more for bringing up infrastructure? Well, uh, my answer to that is you can use Terraform for many things. It just depends on what your needs are. And actually, now that I have this pipeline, I can copy that pipeline or I can convert it into a template and I can use it for any of my Terraform needs to bring up resources in Azure. Um, so I can use the same generic pipeline to do that uh, if I create a template. Obviously the Terraform state, the blob storage container would be different. I can see how somebody can take this and then build upon it and make something that's more complex and you can do much more with it. Anyway, so I'm just, I just wanted to show you how I'm using Terraform Azure DevOps pipelines to bring up resources in Azure Cloud. I hope you learned something. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you. Mm -hmm.